Let's take a look at 22 mistakes that you might have missed in episodes from season 5 and 6 of SpongeBob. You don't want to miss these, so watch closely and see if you can spot them. Now, let's dive in. Number 1. To save a squirrel. First up on our list is to save a squirrel from season 5. In this episode, SpongeBob and Patrick sneak into the back of Sandy's Jeep. They end up falling out and are stranded in the middle of a forest. Is the door back here too? No, Patrick, no! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. We have food, shelter, and water. But of course, all good things come to an end. Uh oh. Well, we burned our food, ruined our tent, and lost all our water. When SpongeBob is speaking, his teeth turn yellow for a second. You can spot it at normal speed around the time he says food, but it's easier to see when slowed down. This seems to be a really common mistake across many episodes and seasons. Right after the scene, watch the pore on the top right of SpongeBob's face. Patrick, we are gonna need to use our razor sharp quick wits if we're gonna make it out of here alive. The hole turns transparent and is the same color as the sky right around the time SpongeBob says quick. This one is really noticeable, but it's only a little goof. The longer the two friends are stranded, the more unhinged they become. Come on out, Patrick. You can't hide forever. It gets to the point where, with a lack of food, they start looking to one another, or at least suspect the other is trying to eat them. Thanks, Patrick. You're a real pal. <laughs> Funny looking bad beads. They almost look like carrots. Carrots! You're making soup out of me! There's a mistake in the scene. Did you see it? There are carrots floating around in the pot, but whenever SpongeBob stands up, they've disappeared. There's another mistake in this scene too, right after this clip, so keep an eye on Patrick's feet. It was supposed to be stew! Ah, semantics. Anyways, if you were watching his legs, then you probably noticed it. Patrick actually walks behind one of the puddles in the ground, which means it was on a layer above Patrick in the foreground. But I'm still hungry. Me too. Guys, what you doing? Uh, fellas? Eat or, or be eaten. eaten! By the time Sandy finds SpongeBob and Patrick, they are too far gone and are ready to have some squirrel for dinner. The ketchup bottle in Patrick's hand vanishes between these scenes though. He's holding it when he says, me too, and then in the next scene, he isn't holding anything. Number two, 20,000 patties under the sea. Next up is 20,000 patties under the sea. In this episode, SpongeBob and Patrick find a buried submarine and Mr. Krabs gets the idea to use it as a traveling restaurant selling Krabby Patties. Plankton had this idea years ago and becomes angry whenever he sees his rival doing it. This episode also features this iconic scene. Hey, you can't talk to my grandson like that. Someone ought to put you in a mental hospital. Someone should put you in a box floating down the river, Grandma. This episode has some interesting mistakes, so let's check out the first one. Contact him and Patrick, respond now, please. SpongeBob, you're gonna need to speak up. My eardrums aren't what they used to be. I can't speak up, Patrick. There's a jellyfish over here. SpongeBob's glasses are different shapes in these shots. In the first one, they're round. And in the second scene, they have a flatter top. The second design is the correct design, since we see them in other scenes as well. Is he still after us, Patrick? <laughs> I don't know, buddy. Shall we turn around and check? Okay. SpongeBob and Patrick trip over this submarine periscope, which is right next to the field of grass. However, in later shots of it, the grass can't be seen and pretty much just vanishes entirely in the shot. Also in this scene, when the two of them start running, there's a moment when SpongeBob's left sleeve is not there when he brings his arm up. It happens so fast, it can only be seen slowed down. Now, here is another weird goof that is really noticeable. Can't you just pretend to listen for once in your life? Do it for old Mr. Krabs. Well, since you can't bring any customers into the Krusty Krab, have you ever thought about bringing the Krusty Krab to the customers? Quiet, Squidward, I'm brainstorming! The cashier boat is normal in the first scene when Mr. Krabs is talking. Then, when we cut to a close-up of Squidward, and when we return to the faraway shot, something has changed. The cashier boat is suddenly floating. There's even a shadow under it, so it seems this was intentional. Even though in every other scene, it's on the ground. Who are you calling dark and depressing? SpongeBob and Patrick end up having a run-in with a sea monster. The error in this scene has to do with the submarine. The periscope is clearly visible on top of the submarine, but when the monster takes it off his head, it's gone. It reappears in the next scene. For the last mistake in this episode, watch Plankton's mouth as he speaks. Yeah, 
who needs that rust bucket anyhow? His mouth doesn't sync up with the lines at all. Number three, Boating Buddies. Up next is Boating Buddies from season six. In this episode, Squidward gets a ticket and now must attend boating school with none other than SpongeBob, much to Squidward's dismay. Oh, wow. Well, it's just one day out of your life, Squiddy. How bad could it be? Oh, Squidward! <laughs> Poor Squiddy. Anyways, let's take a look at some of the mistakes that happened throughout the episode. Keep a close eye out for them as we show you the clips, starting with this one. Squidward, you can have the $5 back. Mr. Krabs says that I don't care what Mr. Krabs says. I just won. It seems that Squidward interrupting SpongeBob scared him so much, his belt turned white. Right when Squidward yells and SpongeBob leans back, his belt is no longer colored in. It goes back to normal between scenes. Right after this scene, this happens. Chocolate rain! Squidward is carrying a newspaper whenever he walks away from SpongeBob, but literally right after, it's gone. He even looks down, and although he probably isn't looking for the newspaper, knowing that this error is here makes this subtle action funnier. Another error with SpongeBob's belt happens here. Quiet in the front, please. His belt should have been visible from this angle, but it isn't. There are a few mistakes that happen with the chalkboard in this episode. The first one happens when Squidward is drawing his diagram. I was forced to then part take in evasive action while inadvertently attracting the attention of said law enforcement official. May I sit down now, sweet cheeks? Why, certainly. Squidward draws a rugged line that makes the other students' ears bleed. Whenever we get a faraway shot of him and the board right after, the line is no longer there. A similar thing happens when SpongeBob draws on the board. And then I came around and stopped right here. SpongeBob and Squidward, best boating buddies forever. SpongeBob ends his drawing with a loop under forever at the bottom of the board. But once again, in the faraway shot, it isn't there. There is only a straight line. For this next one, watch the purple girl in the back left. SpongeBob. SpongeBob, I need your help. She is purple, then pink in the next shot, and the next time the camera switches, she's purple again. Number four, Giant Squidward. The last episode we'll be looking at today is Giant Squidward. This episode is self-explanatory. SpongeBob and Patrick end up using Squidward's fertilizer to make him grow. First, starting with his nose. <laughs> The first mistake happens at the start of this episode when Squidward first wakes up. Watch the lines on his forehead as they are inconsistent for the first few seconds. Squidward, my man, you are perfect. When Squidward first approaches the mirror, there are no lines on his forehead. When he is looking in the mirror, he only has the one that he straightens. Then, when he leaves his house, he has all three. Also, if you look here, the wooden stepping stones in front of Squidward's house are there, but at the start of the episode, they're missing. This mistake is really easy to see in this next clip, so try to find it. Perfect! Patrick's eyebrows randomly disappear during the shot of him saying belly button, but they are there in both scenes before and after. To make it up to Giant Squidward, SpongeBob and Patrick make him a giant clarinet. In this scene, we get an angle on SpongeBob's house that is far away enough where we should be able to see Squidward's house, but it isn't there. And lastly, this mistake is an audio mistake. Is an audio mistake. So listen closely. <laughs> Squidward is chasing SpongeBob and Patrick, and you can hear their footsteps, but you cannot hear Squidward's. Well, that's all for today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. Then click the video on screen to watch our newest video. See you there.